First one is x squared minus 49x is equal to 0 versus the second one, x squared minus 49 is equal to 0. As we can see, the first one here, we have this x. But the second one, it does not have the x, right? Alright, be sure you pause the video now and give this a try. Okay, so hopefully you guys actually try it and let's see if we get it right or not. Let me do this one for you guys first. Here we have x squared minus 49x is equal to 0. The right hand side is equal to 0 already. And we see we have the x squared and then the minus 49x, right? Both terms have an x factor. We can factor out that common factor, isn't it? And we'll do that right now. Factor out the x and open the parentheses. This term, it was x squared. But we factored out the x, so that means we have an x left right here, isn't it? And then this was minus 49x, but we took out the x already. Therefore, the inside, it will be just minus 49. And that will be the factoring for that. If you would like, go ahead, distribute the x into the parentheses. x times x, we get x squared. x times negative 49, we get negative 14x. We did it right. And this is still equal to 0. And in fact, this one has two answers. This is a factor. Be sure you put x equal to 0. You set the first factor to be 0, and we got answer right away. The second one, you write it down, x minus 49. You also make this equal to 0, but we have to isolate x from here, right? To do that, let's add 49 on both sides. So that you see, this and that will cancel. And we will have the second answer, x is equal to 0 plus 49. That will be just 49. So here are the two answers, 0 and 49. How about this one? We have x squared minus 49. It's equal to 0. Here we have two terms. And yes, you can also do this by factoring. But the factoring, it will be a difference of two squares, right? Let me show you real quick. Look at this as x squared and then minus for the 49. You have to look at this as 7 squared. There was no common factor, but it was a difference of 2 squares. So put this down right here and make it equal to 0. And we will factor this out right here. x squared minus 7 squared. Use the formula for the difference of 2 squares. We will get x minus 7 times x plus 7, isn't it? So just like that. And we still set this equal to 0. This is the first factor. This is the second factor. So go ahead and do this. x minus 7 is equal to 0. The other one, x plus 7 equals to 0. Right here, plus 7, plus 7. Cancel this out. x is equal to plus the 7. This one, minus 7, minus 7. Cancel this out and we can get x is equal to negative 7. Here we have these two answers, 7 or negative 7, right? So if you want to do this by factoring, yes, you could. And the factorings are very different. The first one was to factor the common factor. The second one was to use difference of two squares, all right? And I know because I can read your mind. Some of you guys did this by taking the square root on both sides, right? So I'll show you guys real quick right here as well. If you look at x squared minus 49, it's equal to 0. Yes, you can just add a 49 on both sides. Because this is just a number, and we will have x squared equals to past the 49. We only have the x right here, right? x squared is equal to a number. And then take the square root on both sides. Be sure to put a plus minus. And then we can get x by itself right here after we cancel cancel positive negative and then square root of 49 is just 7 x is equal to plus or minus 7 same as 7 or negative 7 that's it did you get get this right comment down below let me know